Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another cooking video. Today I am making a Okinawan dish called raw fute, which is actually an Okinawan shoyu style pork. Oh, it is so good, so tender, with a lot, a lot of flavor. Okay, so the first thing that we need is pork belly. And I'm going to be using, this is one pound of pork belly. I'm actually going to be doubling this recipe, but the recipe that I'm going to give you is actually just for one pound. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting the pork belly into tiny bite-sized pieces. You need to use a very strong knife. I used a serrated knife because some of the fat on the pork belly is really hard to cut. I found out so using a serrated knife is probably the best way to go but anyway this is how it should look and this is how I cut it okay so to a small bowl we're going to be adding our ingredients for our marinade first thing we're going to be using is sake and I never cooked with sake before so I found this really interesting we're going to be adding a quarter cup of sake to this bowl for our marinade the next thing that we're going to be adding is we're going to be adding shoyu or soy sauce we're also going to be adding a quarter cup of soy sauce to this as well. Our next ingredient is cooking mirin. And you can find this at any Asian grocery store. But we're going to be using one tablespoon of mirin. So we're going to mix that up. And we're going to set it aside because this is going to be the flavor for our pork. Okay, so now to a medium-high heated saucepan, we're going to start adding our pieces of pork belly. We're going to try to sear it on each side, and not every recipe for this particular dish has this step in it, but I really like it. A lot of times when you have this recipe, they tell you to put the marinade into the pan and put the pork belly in there and just boil it. However, I really like to sear the sides of the pork belly because it gives it a little bit of extra texture. And to me, it gives it a little bit more flavor sometimes, like a little bit of, you know, the caramelization of the fat of the pork belly. It really, really adds to me to the dish. So we're gonna be stirring each side. So we're gonna be cooking this for about a total of five minutes. We're not gonna cook it long. We're just gonna cook it so that each side has like a little bit of brown texture to it. Okay, so this is kind of like what we want it to look like when we turn it. We're not cooking it for very long. We're just basically, like I said, we're cooking it to brown it to give it a little extra texture once we start adding the marinade. So, you know, we just want it a little bit of brown. Not, we don't want it burnt. We don't want it fully cooked. We just want it just about like this. We want it to look like this. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting our garlic. And this is three cloves of garlic. Um, maybe not three cloves, but I don't usually put as much as they tell me to put in there. I usually put a little less garlic. I don't like it as garlicky. And then we're also going to use our ginger. This is uh, fresh ginger, and they ask you to use a one-inch knob. So anyway, we're going to let that cook until it's nice and you know, fragrant. And then we're going to add our marinade that we made earlier to this garlic and ginger mix. We're going to try to get all the things off the bottom of the pan. And then we're going to add our brown sugar. This is three tablespoons of brown sugar. We're going to be adding that to the mix. And then we're also going to be adding, it says a half a cup, but this is a quarter cup of water. Um, like I said, I'm making a double recipe of this. We're going to just be adding this in and we're going to give it a nice stir. So now we are putting our pieces of pork belly back into this mixture that we just made and we are actually turning up the stove to a medium high heat because we actually have to bring this up to a boil. The recipe doesn't say to take out the pieces of pork belly and then reintroduce them but I thought it would probably be better. I like to mix all of my ingredients for the sauce by itself i don't like the pork belly in there so i took it out earlier and now i'm putting it back however i guess you can leave it in there if you want to this is just an extra step that i did because of the way i like to cook it okay so like i said we're going to bring the pot up to a boil once it's up to a boil though we're going to turn down the heat a little bit and we're going to cover it and let it simmer for about an hour and a half 
uh, at least until the pork gets really tender. What we want to do though is every 20 minutes we want to check the pot to make sure that there's enough liquid in it and we also want to give it a good stir because we don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. Once the pork belly is soft and it has reached the stage that we want it to be, we're going to turn up the heat to a medium high and we're going to let it sit uncovered so it can caramelize all the juices on it. This is best served on a bed of hot rice. But there you go. There's your refute. Thank you very much for joining me.